Some of you are still unsubscribed. Shares has been telling me that over 55% of you have not yet subscribed but have been enjoying the content. Please, why don't you go ahead and do the right thing? Click on that subscribe button. Let's go back to the lesson. What's your name? Greek! I got 100 on my dash, got 200 in my trunk. They ain't in the grab bags for my trunk. Like a cracker on the top of my butt, like a dumb trunk. It's your dog, dog, dog. That's a moment, huh? Guys, you are guaranteed they are going to ask about the definition. <laughs> yes. And guys, oh, I, I want you to be mindful of it. this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I want you to be mindful of this. 10% yes. of the physics exam yes. comprises of definitions. Yes. Right? It's road learning. So, which means you are guaranteed of 10% already just by virtue. You can show up and get 10% <laughs> without having made a single calculation. Yes. Right? Know your definitions. Yes. That's very important. So, yes, they are likely and, to ask about. And in, in, in the definitions, make make an effort to mention the important things in that important thing. things because when they are marking the definitions, there are certain phrases that they are looking for. Okay, let's talk about uh, the law of conservation of momenta. The law of conservation. Yes, in an isolated system. Now, so. And then they underline that. Ah, and so and see, then he's they... singing it. <laughs> I'm the <cooker. laughs> In an isolated system, and then they underline that. And then they go total linear momentum is concerned. Yeah. So you get your two months from those. And there is no thing as if you mentioned an isolated system alone and not mm. say momentum is concerned. You'll get one mark, me. No, so it's two so it's or zero. Two or zero. Two That's or it. zero. Did I get full marks or you don't get it? Yes. Yeah, I, I like that. Sure. I like that. Um, so you are guaranteed you are going to be asked about, uh, you know, two or more objects that go through an event, a collision, sure. right? And I use collision because it's not always that they yes. physically collide, right? There's an event that takes place. Now, you should be able, the sum of their momenta before collision is equal to the sum of their momenta after collision. Please remember, guys, you must My write the, the sum, the sum of momentum it, before, it. sum of momentum after. That already guarantees you a mark. Uh -huh. And then you can then look at each of the objects uh, individually yes. and find out what the answer is eventually. Right? Also, the direction is important. Ooh, so. ooh. Yes. Yo. <laughs> yes. I think you can mention it again. Yes. Yes. Right? Because that's the one thing that prohibits people from getting full marks there. If I had two cars that were coming towards each other, right? Remember, if I go and say, well, direction to the east is positive, they will not say to me, this one is negative 20. Let's say mm -hmm. if it was moving at 20, sure. right? They will just say, uh, car A moving at 15 meters per second, car B moving at 20 meters per second west, right? So I need to then specify and say east is positive, sure. right? So then it automatically makes west negative. negative. So when I substitute into my equation, I need to make sure that I substitute that negative answer in, I mean, yes. a negative velocity in there. Very important. Hey, thank you for mentioning that. And also, uh, the type of the type of, of collusion that happens. I think a lot a lot of marks get lost there unnecessarily. Inelastic, elastic, what is happening? So when there is damage involved, be sure. Like I, I've seen also a, a question that asks about the energy. What happens to the kinetic energy after? Can you explain that in words? Mm -hmm. Remember that energy cannot be destroyed nor created is transferred and so when there is a collusion um, that makes sure that there is damage afterwards then it means we have lost some kind of some energy kind of and it could go to sound yeah. for instance because we would hear a sound. loud noise so 
be careful of the, of those questions. Sure. Right. So that would be a definition of an inelastic, inelastic collision, collision, right? Yes. Okay, great stuff. And then just finally, impulse. Um, I think that's usually uh, giveaway marks. Oh. So if you think about it, the impulse momentum equation, F net multiplied by delta T is equal to change in momentum, yeah. right? So be mindful, that has only to do with only one of the objects. So you need to choose. Yes. If you're saying that I'm sticking with A, then you can use A. If you're sticking with B, then you're using Z. Uh, sometimes they do give us time and they would ask uh, for us to calculate the force yes. that car A exerted on B, right? So we would use the impulse momentum equation. Please be mindful, guys. I cannot emphasize this enough being mindful of direction. So for instance, if car A was moving towards, let's say, the east, yes, and collides with car B, but at the end of the collision, they end up moving together, or let's say car A ends up moving to the west, okay. right? So which means my final velocity is the one to the left, yes, right? So remember, I would have chosen, let's say, uh, east, uh, east, east as positive. positive. So which means my final velocity is negative minus a positive, positive velocity. So yes. Vf minus Vi, final velocity negative minus a positive. So it's minus minus yes. eventually. So those things are very important. Um, it's important for you to understand uh, what the merits of the question is. Sure. Right? Yeah, I think that's a very straight to the point um, section. Let's go to work, energy and power.